Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful monthly sales report and tracker in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this monthly sales report and tracker in Google Sheet. This is the sales report sheet and here you can just change the month from this drop down. Just select Fab and automatically the whole dashboard is changed and if i select march then this is for the march or let's say i'm selecting june then this is for the june we are showing here total sales this is the sum of sale for the june month the highest sale for this month is this one and this is for the product b we are showing the total profit also for the month and we are showing some charts like total sales by payment method total sales by the states on this map and total sales by the salesperson this is total sales by the product and here we are showing the total sales by the date and these dates are only for this month. We are showing this data here and this whole data is only for the selected month. Now let me show you the sales report tracker. Here in the tracker you can enter the data. We have the date then the product, sales quantity, sales price, total, total sales, state then here we have the salesperson name and this is the payment method and this is profit okay now i will show you how you can create this sales report and tracker in google sheet so let's start without delay first we will take this sheet and we will copy this data only and let's go to the file and new and spreadsheet we can paste our data from here shift Control b and we will quickly format this data so data is already selected let's go to the border and take light color let's say this one and all borders align this center and middle from here and take the size around 8 select the headers only and take the font color let's say this color and make this white and bold take size 9 all right we can adjust this slightly now let's go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines from here you can put some title also so select the first row and use merge cells and here also you can use some dark color let's say i'm taking this one and font i'm taking white and make this white and make this bold and take the area rounded and size i'm taking around 20 and i'm putting here sales tracker align this center okay so here and align this middle also here you can enter your data now for the first column we will make the date column so what we can do we can just select this column and just right click and go to the drop down and just make it is valid date now if you double click then the calendar will appear so that you can select the date all right you can apply this formatting till the bottom so take this format painter and shift control and down arrow so that's border is applied okay for the product we can create a drop down just right click here and then click on the drop down so this is the drop down you can change the color if you want let's say for product one product two product three and for product four okay the same colors will appear here similarly we can create the drop down for the payment method also just select this right click drop down and here also you can change the color let's say for cash for credit card and for online payment okay the colors are applied and you can add new entry using the drop down so you can easily add the data here or you can copy the data for other excel sheet or other google sheet this is the report tracker now we will add a new sheet that will be dashboard or sales report this can be sales tracker okay or this can be sales report all right we will keep the same header here so we can copy it from here and let's paste that here make the row number two height slightly smaller just decrease that like we have created here on this sheet this month first the drop down of the month just select this range or you can leave the column a as it is and then we will start working on this this will be month month and here we will create the drop down of the month 
so increase the row height here and select these two align middle and center and make them bold slightly bigger you can take the different color here like we have taken some dark color so let's say i'm taking this color here font take white and area rounded for the month we can create a drop down so we can create one by one or somewhere we can take the list of the month like let's say new seat and here i'm keeping as support seat and i'm creating the month as january and then just drag it down till the december now we will add the list here just right click go to the drop down and just uh, drop down from a range and here we will put the range so let's go to the support seat and select this range the whole range till here now click on ok we can see the month list here just click on done you can see that list here let's say i'm selecting jan so we will make this slightly smaller so that the whole text can be visible okay or you can select some other month also so just make it slightly bigger all right so you can select the month from here we can give some border darker border let's say this one and outline all right let's go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here this is the month selection now we will create the total sales like this so let's take here total sales just merge this and type here in capital total sales and let's take the font this one and uh, align this center and middle make it bold and slightly bigger and the font color we will take let's say this color we will copy this and we will paste that here so the same formatting will come but we want to change the font color as white and the background color as this one okay so here we will take the total sales we will use the formula so let's delete for now we will just keep the placeholder then we are taking the highest sales for the month so let's copy this and uh, we can paste this here and just increase the row height slightly and uh, here we will take one dark color and one light color so what we can do we can just take the dark color as this one and uh, font so we can uh, take this one also so you can just use the format paint and click here and this one you can just fill here let's say gray color this one and you can take the same formatting so just take the format painter and just click here okay so we can show the total uh, the highest sale for the month this one we can copy this from here this is highest sale for the month okay we will show you how you can get the highest sale and the product name then we will show the total profit so we can paste that here this will be total profit let's take the same row height all right once this is done then we will create this the same headers which is available in the tracker we can take this from here also this one so let's copy this whole let's say copy this and we can paste them here like this we don't need this drop down so we can copy and paste this cell here and this cell here also we are just taking the formatting so we don't need any value here okay we can take the same formatting format painter and just takes to some other rows also like this okay now let's increase this and use merge cells and we will increase the column width now all right now here we will use the filter function so just use the filter function here from the sales tracker and we will select this range from the data until the end comma in the criteria we will use the text function text and we will select the date column here the first column in the tracker comma put here format as mmm four times and just close the bracket equal to come to the sales report and that should be the month which we have selected and just hit the enter so we are getting the whole date for that month if i change this let's say january then you can see i'm getting whole data for january month only all right 
if you want to sort this data properly then you can use this sort also here sort this data and we want to sort this data by first column which is date and it is saying is ascending you can put there true and just enter so we can see this data is sorted properly right now total sales we can use the simple sum and this is the total sales column till the end and just hit the enter this is the total sale you can take this formatting from here let's say this one if you don't want to show the decimal you can just remove the decimal places from here the highest sale we can use the max function and from the sale we can take the highest sale so this is the highest sale and uh, you can use here xlookup to get the product name of the highest sale so let's uh, select search key as this sale comma lookup range total sales comma then we can use the product range because that is the result we want and just enter so we are getting highest sale is for product a okay now the total profit we can use the sum of the profit in the last we have the profit just hit the enter that is the total profit you can take the same formatting which we have taken here now we will show you quickly how you can create the charts which we have created here first we have taken the total sales by payment method so let's insert a chart first and make it smaller like this just double click and select the chart here this pie chart and select the range we have taken the total payment total sales by payment method so let's take here payment method first so the payment method is here so select this range till the end add another range and we will take the total sales this time and the total sales is this just click on ok click on aggregate and use row number 14 as header these two let's see the chart now this chart is looking like this this pie chart is ready now just double click to quickly format this and go to the customize and here we will go to the chart style first let's make it 3d and the border outline let's say i'm taking this color then pie chart here we will show the value of the date and the label size let's take 10 if you want to take the text as white you can take that okay now come to the pie slice and you can change the color for the online payment let's say i'm taking this color and for cash we can select some other color let's say this one and for credit card we can select some other color from the same theme let's say little darker one okay and then go to the legend and here in the legend we can say at bottom so we can show the legend at bottom we can show the chart title also so let's say i'm putting here total sales by payment method okay we will format the title let's align this center and the size take around 12 and here text take black and make this bold all right so this chart is ready now we can make the copy of this chart quickly make the copy and paste that here the second one we are creating the map so let's double click here and just change it to the map this map and here we will change the range also because total sales by the states this time so the total sales is the column f which will remain same in place of i we will take the column g so here we can change it g and here also and just click on ok so you can see this map is appearing and we can go to the customize geo and we can take this is the usa map so we can take united state let's come to the setup and here we will show the color as total sales in the region let's take state so we can see this map is ready just make it slightly smaller okay now we can make the copy of this chart and we can paste this here the third chart which we are creating that is total sales by salesperson which we will make slightly bigger because we have lot of salesperson there so just double click and we will go to the select data range salesperson is on column h we can change it from here also in, in place of i just take here h 
and here also and just enter and here we will change the chart type let's select this column salesperson here and take here total sales okay now for this axis we will make slightly smaller so let's take the label font size around 10 so that this will be visible we don't need this legend here so say none okay now remove the grid lines also just click and uncheck the major grid lines from the chart style we can make it 3d and we can change the colors also from the series so let's say i'm selecting this color or a little darker now we can add the data labels also from here just add the data labels okay so this is the total sales by salesperson okay this chart is ready now we can quickly create the other charts also like we have created here total sales by product we can copy this and we can paste that here and let's keep this chart here and make it slightly smaller just double click so this is total sales by product product is available on the column c you can see this one so just double click and take here c in place of h and here also and just enter and just change this product and just take this total sales you can keep this chart or you can take the other chart like we have taken their bar chart this one you can keep this one also and you can make it 3d also all right make just click here and make the plot area slightly smaller okay so this is the total sales by product enter and now we will create the last chart and paste here that will be total sales by date and make it slightly bigger just double click date is on column b so we will take here b in place of c b and here also and just enter we will change this chart with the area chart and this should be date and here we will take total sales okay now for this you can make it slightly smaller or if it is not visible then we can make it slightly bigger we can see the dates here although the month is not visible that's okay now we can make this slightly bigger the plot area like this okay now you can make the line as smooth line from the customized chart style let's take it smooth and come to the series and here you can take the point size as 7px so the marker will appear all right so this is the total sales by date all right now if i change the month let's say feb then you can see everything is getting changed or if i take march then everything is getting getting changed so this is dynamic now okay which is connected with this month so this is the sales report you can change the top section this is sales report so that is how we can create the sales report and the sales tracker in google sheets all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watch